What's up guys? Welcome to another Build a Break and Garage episode. Today's episode, uh, we're gonna go and try to find a Bluetooth head unit for Midori. Still have just a regular old aux cord going in and it, uh, it's getting dated. I'm not good at texting and driving and basically changing my music is pretty close to doing that. So it's a pain in the butt and I just want to be able to have a physical button on the dash that I can just push and hit the next track and actually navigate my phone without actually having to take my eyes off the road for too long. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, I'm going to go out right now in Midori and uh, we're going to go try to hit up a couple places, see where we can get a cheap Bluetooth head unit. It's not something that I want to spend a lot of money on. Uh, I'm not uh, big into radios or anything like that. So as long as it's got Bluetooth and it looks kind of decent, like, I mean, looks play more into it than anything really. Then uh, we're going to go ahead and pick it up and install it in Midori today. And then also run a remote wire back to the amp because currently, I just have a switch back there, so anytime I want to listen to the radio and have the subwoofer going, I currently have to go to the trunk, oh, turn on the switch, then come back into the car. It's just it's a real hassle, so we're gonna fix that uh, today too. So I'm gonna take you guys along and uh, enjoy. Midori cold start. Stop at our first stop. Uh, we're gonna try cartoons. Hopefully, you can see that. And uh, we're gonna try to see what they have for cheap Bluetooth radios. So I'll let you guys know if I decide to buy anything uh, after I get out of here. All right. Well, stop the cartoons. I actually stopped there for two reasons. One was uh, try to find a cheap radio, which the they are selling. They are selling the same radio that I have in Spike for about a hundred dollars more than I paid for it. So. Uh, definitely not gonna get the radio here, um, way too expensive, but I also need a suction cup mount for my radar detector, and uh, they used to sell them here, and now of course they don't, so. The next place I'm gonna stop off at is a Walmart, I believe, and then uh, probably Best Buy to see if they maybe have a suction cup mount, but uh, I doubt it. I have a hard time finding it on Amazon, it's a special mount for my radar detector, but uh, yeah. So on to the next place and I'll check in with you guys when we get there. A quick stop at the gas station. This thing being boosted now likes to go through a whole bunch of gas. So let's get her filled up and uh, be on our way. Alright, made it to Walmart. Uh, now to check on the prices and see what uh, we can afford here. Alright, well the trip to Walmart was unsuccessful. I don't think that this one in particular sells car radios. So I'm going to head to Myers next and see what they have in stock. If I don't like what they have, then I think there's one more Walmart that I'm going to be able to check out and see if they have anything. So, fingers crossed I even find a damn radio today. So, yeah. So, we made a quick little stop to Uncle Ed's oil shop. See? This is actually where I used to work for about three years, and uh, I had a good time here. It was a fun job. I actually kind of miss, I miss the people, really. I don't miss the company, but I miss the people. Uh, but uh, yeah, just getting my tires topped off here, and then back off to Myers. So hopefully Myers has a head unit because I really like even right now having to hook it up to the aux cord. I hate messing with my phone while I'm driving. It's just I'm not that coordinated. But I'll check in with you guys at Myers, and hopefully they have what I'm looking for. Fingers crossed. Right, well, I made it to Myers and went inside. I had to park literally like so far away. So I'm actually like the back of the box. They're under construction, but they had two radios there. They have a Boss Audio and then a Sony. And I'm more of like a Pioneer fan. I'm gonna try to go to Walmart. I got my last one at uh, Walmart, so hopefully they have the same one because that'd be really cool. So on my way to the third or third spot or fourth spot, fourth spot uh, on uh, today, trying to find a radio. So see you in a second. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have success. Uh, stopped at the Walmart uh, that I got my previous radio from, and they had a nice Kenwood unit, like this or Pioneer, um, I should specify. So I'm pretty sure the one that might be in the other is a Kenwood too. Yeah, 88 bucks. So it's the cheapest like brand name thing that they had. Uh, this should work out perfect for what I need it to do. I even got the adapter harness for the stereo. So 
we're all set. I'm gonna head back to the garage now and install this. So take guys along with me. So I made it back to the garage and I'm getting ready to start tearing out the old unit and get the uh, wiring and everything all set up. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and start that in now. Okay, so, so far I got the new radio in the bezel. Um, it's all mounted, ready to uh, be wired. So next up is taking the adapter harness and the other harness, taking these two harnesses and making one harness. So let's get that done. Okay, so just like that, I have completed wiring harness. This blue wire is the wire that needs to go to the amp, so I'm gonna run that wire really quick and uh, plug everything in and see it works. So, cross your fingers. Well, I got the radio installed. I got it all wired up, and it turns right on now. And, if you can see in the back, that the amp turns on with the radio now, so. I don't have to deal with having to go back there and turn on the amp anymore, which is going to be like crazy. It's going to be crazy not having to go back to the trunk to turn on the amp anymore. That's like seriously, it's been like that for years. Always wanted to do it, but just never got around to it. So today I did. But uh, anyway, thank you for watching this video and be sure to like, comment and subscribe and we'll be seeing you on the next one. Peace.